Hi, Brockton residents. It's Mayor Sullivan, and I want to welcome you back to the 17th episode of Our Brockton. And the title of the show speaks for itself, Our Brockton. It's our community, it's our home, and it's my privilege to have one of our own, Sabrina Victor, as my guest today. Sabrina, thank you so much. Hello. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited to be here. I'm excited to have you here. Um, you are our first celebrity on <laughs> oh our Brockton, <laughs> Miss Massachusetts USA. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> you are a graduate of Brockton High School yes. and UMass Amherst. Yes. For those that don't know you, speak into the camera and introduce yourself. Okay. Well, you already know I am from Brockton, Massachusetts, my home. I love it here. I love to call this place my home, but um, I'm also Haitian American. I was born in Miami, Florida, and now I ended up here in New England. Don't know how that happened. Um, <laughs> and I'm 24 years old, graduated from UMass Amherst, attended Brockton High School. I currently serve as the reigning Miss Massachusetts USA, uh, the longest reigning one, actually. Um, and I'm really passionate about the arts, about making sure I help people in my community use the arts to express themselves, to be activists, and we can do that through you know, performance, song, dance, theater, acting, and I was a really big member of the fine arts program when I went to Brockton High School, so now I work as an actor in the Boston area, and I also work at Bridgewater State University in the Human Resources Department. Go Bears, go Bears. <laughs> go Bears. So I want, again, I want to thank you for taking time today. Uh, it's so important to um, show the successes of Brockton. You are definitely a success from Brockton Public Schools. And you haven't forgotten Brockton, right? You've gone on to really great accolades, um, but you've reached out to me and you said, listen, Mr. Mayor, or you could call me Bob. Um, I'm really um, back to the community. I want to help the youth. I want to be a mentor. Now is your forum. Speak to the youth on, I mean, you're a success story. They can look at you and say, if Sabrina can do it, why can't I? Uh, it is, of course, uh, National Women's History Month. We just had International Women's Day. Yes. Give some examples of your successes and how you got to where you are. Well, I mean, I have a really great support system. Shout out to my mom. My mom emigrated here from Haiti, mm. um, and that's why I was born here in the U.S. And a lot of Haitians, a lot of people from different places, whether you came from Cape Verde or you came from just the Caribbean or any type of continent, you know, they, they come here for the same reason usually, which is to afford a better opportunities and education, health care, just life in general mm -hmm. for their children, um, for their families. So I'm really grateful that, you know, my mom made that sacrifice to come here because it is a really hard process being an immigrant. Um, and I've just always instilled that belief in me to, you know, continue serving my community in any way I can because of the opportunities that I have. Like our generation, the younger kids, they need to understand that we have so many amazing opportunities right in front of us that, you know, a lot of other kids unfortunately don't have. We have an amazing educational system. We have a really great school, Brockton High, that just poured into me so much as, you know, a young student being in the arts program, taking AP classes mm -hmm. and being able to graduate with a lot of credits to go to UMass Amherst, another great school that great I went school. to. Um, and I would say also just take advantage of those opportunities, join those clubs, join those programs. Um, especially when I got to college, I felt like because I was so involved at Brockton High School, I felt even more comfortable diving in and really just taking that step. So when I was in college, I actually directed my own show for my honors thesis. Really? I produced it, I directed it, I wrote grants to raise money wow. for it. I did like the whole shebang. And I think it's because of the foundation that I built here being in Brockton. And then, you know, when I graduated, I came right back to yeah, Brockton. Yeah, you did, because it's home. It's home. It's, it's home. my home. I love it. So I had the opportunity yesterday to speak to four really, really unbelievable um, students at the Plouffe um, School. Uh, and they were doing an interview with me. And they said, could you give us some, um, some advice? You know, maybe we want to run for mayor someday or... Um. <laughs> be in a pageant or whatever it is. And yeah. I said, listen, you're gonna fail at times and you learn from your failures, right? That's what you do. You're gonna get knocked down, dust yourself and get back up and, and yeah. really work hard for your dreams. So you had shared with me, I had asked you off, offline, when was your first pageant and, and how did you get into that? And, and you told me the first one that you ran for, you, you didn't come in first, you came in third, which is great, yeah, yeah. But, but talk to us about that. Yeah, so um, I did the Miss USA system for the first time in 2019. Wow. I did other pageants in college, but you know, this was the big league. Yeah. 
And uh, that first year, that was my first time competing in this system, and I placed third runner-up, which was a really big accomplishment Huge. to even place top five Absolutely. or to place at all. At all. Um, because, you know, there are lots of people who pageantry is just like a lifestyle right. to them. It's what they do. It's like a sport for them. And I just wanted to, you know, test the waters and see what I could do because I had been successful in college. And I think the main reason that I even dived into pageantry itself was because as an actor, I'm already really comfortable on the stage mm -hmm. and I love performing. But the difference between acting is that you're telling someone else's story but through pageantry i got to get on a stage and tell my own story. own story and i wanted to do that being a haitian american being a young black girl being from brockton being someone with short natural hair mm -hmm. just not seeing someone like me that often on a stage like a pageant stage and i went to miss usa last year and competed and that was the first time I'd never even placed in a pageant. Mm. So I didn't even place in the top 16, mm -hmm. which is okay because the support from the community was just so overwhelmingly mm. amazing. Like people just, just came to me, sent me messages and saying, you still represented us. You still stood up for us. Yep. You made us proud. Yep. I saw you on my TV screen and now I want to do that too. I just had so many young girls and kids just People from around the people from South Africa, from Brazil. From what an all amazing these feeling! It was just mind blowing. It was amazing. Oh well, I mean, you are a champion in the city of champions, and you're representing with the mask. I like it. The box is strong, right? <laughs> so, in terms of, I mean, what you learned doing fine arts, and I did drama at Brockton High myself, awesome. right? And and hey, Mr. Hogan. Yeah, yeah. I had Miss Thomas, but Bob oh Hogan God, is unbelievable as well. <laughs> so, um, in terms of, if someone's watching the show and says, okay. Pageantry might not be my thing, but I'm too afraid to get on the stage. Mm -hmm. What would be some advice to a young boy or young girl that might say, should I try? So the arts in Brockton is, it's booming. Like it is booming and not just through acting, but through people are making music. Mm -hmm. People are doing architecture and in the background of theater, you can, you can join a crew. If you like painting, if you like building, That's right. if you like writing, playwriting, screenwriting, you know, we need all of those people hands on to kind of work behind the scenes too, because without those people, we can't create the amazing productions that we make for, you know, the, the, the people of Brockton. And I remember when I was going to Brockton High, people from all over the city would come out to our shows, yeah. you know, older folks, younger folks, families, the, the auditoriums would be filled. And, you know, people really love to support us, but we can't put on these shows without the support of the city, without new talent, without students who are willing to take a risk, you know, and try their hand in something new. Right. And who knows, you might become, you know, really talented if, at something that you try your hand at. And we have so many amazing people who have come out of Brockton and gone on to, you know, have these really great big careers, become celebrities, or, you know, I don't know if you heard about the, um, the thing that happened with the, the stocks and whatnot, and mm -hmm. it was like going all crazy. Yes. It was like a revolution. Yeah. The, someone from Brockton yeah. started yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> you right. know, it's no. like, so I just think there's just so many amazing, talented people from Brockton, and we really need to tap into, especially our youth. And I think you, you hit it on the head. I mean, Brockton, the number one thing about Brockton are the people, the yes. people that live in the city. Um, and the youth is the next generation, right? I mean, yeah. I happen to be mayor, that's my title, but my biggest job is being a dad of three young kids. Oh and trying to, trying to guide their future. So if, if I was watching the show today, first of all, I'd be extremely, extremely impressed by the crown. It is awesome. So you shiny, know, it isn't is beautiful. it? It is beautiful, the sash is beautiful. <laughs> but you know what, you have an engaging personality and the first time I talked to you, I was like, absolutely anything that we can do to help the youth in Brockton. And you've been really the number one supporter on that. And one example is just yesterday, Sabrina and I were on a Zoom with Brockton Public Schools. Um, and the synergy is there, right? We have to create the building blocks for success, and um, Sabrina Victor is without question a success. So what's, what's the future? Are, are there other pageants after this, or how long is the reign? Or? Well, I am currently the longest reigning Miss Massachusetts USA, so I did win back in January of 2020, um, but you know, as you can see, 
everything that has happened yeah. in the past year, just so much turmoil and just so much chaos. Um, but it was a really hard time for me being queen throughout that time. And I, I technically should have given up my crown a full year later, but as you can see, January yeah. 2021 yeah. has passed. Yeah. So I will be reigning, I think, until June. Excellent. So that'll be about 18 months. Great. Yeah. And That's it's, historic. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. It's mind-blowing to me because although it has been a really hard journey, there's also been so many positives um, because it really pushed me into the forefront. I, you know, I had people looking mm, to me. That's right. Like, what are we going to do? How are we going to get through this? And I was able to use my platform just to encourage people. You know, I delivered food to like some of the hospitals in Brockton. Thank I just kind of connected with my audience to try and let them know, you know, there are there are things you have to do to get through this. You need to take care of your mental health. You need yes. to take care of your physical health. You need to be getting tested regularly. Um, you know, I just got tested on Monday. Yep. And I think that after this, I am going to just enjoy relaxation for a little bit Good. because it has been such an amazingly busy time, which I, I'm so grateful for it. And I'm also going to be preparing to go back to school for my graduate degree. Great, congratulations. Thank Congra you. That's great, <laughs> Thank fantastic. You. Um, you know, you're at Bridgewater State now and yeah. President Clark over there has been a really wonderful partner. Um, Bridgewater State has always been a partner with the city. The synergy is always there. Um, I guess I guess I'd like to ask you again if you could offer some advice um, to the the young generation, right? The, the youngsters that are watching the show right now, and I think our viewership is going to go up now because you're on the show. So I thank you very so. much. Hello, ratings. <laughs> <laughs> Nielsen, we're ready. What would um you know what what would you say to someone right now? And I don't care if they're in Brockton Public Schools or a Catholic parochial school or charter school. What would you say? Hmm, that's okay. And question. let's do it on a scenario that we're past COVID because everything's different now being in COVID. Definitely. But when we get past that and we will get past it, like what's what's the sky's the limit for you? Mm -hmm. And what would you what, what kind of um, information would you share or advice? Well, in the past year, I've had a lot of highs and a lot of lows, but something that I've carried with me is a quote that I guess I made up myself, so you can quote Sabrina Victor on this. Um, when someone tells you no, don't let that stop you from creating your own yes. And I think that it just speaks to the perseverance that we as a city have. You know, sometimes you may try to put your foot in a door and that door closes, but that doesn't mean you can't go out there and try and try another door. Build the door yourself, you know, build the whole house. Um, there is just so many opportunities out there that we need to take advantage of, that our city is offering, that our state is offering, but you need to go out there and you need to research. You need to tap into the talents that you have and expand on them. If I never tried to step foot on a pageant stage, I wouldn't be here today as Miss Massachusetts USA. And I would also say that what you do right now, you need to build a foundation for the success that you wanna have in the future. So joining all of those student clubs that I joined, working in the fine arts team, even when I didn't, you know, when I auditioned for something and I didn't get the biggest role, I was still eager to be a part of the show and help any way I can and build up that foundation so that, you know, by the end, I felt my most confident self. I felt like I could really just be the biggest benefit to the team that I could be. And now here I am working as a professional actor in Boston, doing commercials, doing content creation. So it's really about building a foundation for yourself. Take the class that might seem a little bit hard. Mm. Calculus, you're gonna get through it, yep. you know? Um, and to my younger students even, to you know, elementary school students and middle school students, again, it's just building that foundation, trying new things that might scare you, making new connections, making new friends, and not letting a no stop you from creating your own yes. Fantastic, thank you, thank you. So um, it really has been my honor and privilege to have Sabrina Victor. Brocktonian, reigning Miss Massachusetts USA. Thank you for being on our show. Really, um, the words that she just shared with us are, are, are life changing. So again, um, I wanna thank you for your time. I wanna really thank you for really coming here today and being engaged as always. Um, it is an honor and privilege to be the mayor of the city of Brockton. This is our 17th episode of our Brockton. Uh, as you can see, both Sabrina and I are wearing our masks. So COVID is still here in the city. We have lost yes. over 400 people to this deadly virus. So continue to be vigilant and diligent, and we're going to get through this together, and the key word is together. So thank you, and I look forward to the next episode of Our Brockton.